Hey there everyone, this is still Raokal, still playing that third Super Nintendo Parodias game. Anyway, on to level 4. The... Here we go. The, uh... Jeoma... Uh, how is it spelled? Goemon? Goemon? Because I have a slight um, dyslexia thingy and I tend to print... For the longest time I've always pronounced it Jeoman. And to me, that is what it's supposed to be, even though it's Goemon. Need to remember that for this video. Goemon, Goemon, Goemon. But not for now. Now we're still dodging these kind of pointless enemies that we've seen way too many often in all the Padodias games. Um, yeah. Fly onward, Winby. Fly onward. Kill that. That horror of creation. <laughs> wow. Teapot raccoon. Always popular at parties. And a bird. And another sort of bird. So, according to one of the videos I've seen in the thread, a lot of these enemies are actually based on the uh, Goemon games. But I've never played one ever. So, the first time I played this game, it was quite an experience. To me, it was the generic, holy crap, what's happening ninja level. Even <laughs> and you know the rest of their weird, strange thing. I just figured it was because it was Parodius. It's supposed to be weird. Although I don't know if Goemon actually has those hopping trees we're gonna see pretty soon. Right now it's mostly penguins running atop the treetops, atop the canopy. Not unlike. Oh, memory blank. I was thinking about some movie that people were running across treetop, but I forget. It calls for an awkward silence. It's just as good. Dodging, hopping trees. Always fun. I'm completely powered up right now, so as soon as I die, it's gonna be frustrating. Is it now? No. Did I buy a punch? Will I die in this level? I guess you'll have to stick around. Remember, purple is random, and when you're fully powered up, you don't want that. Although, technically, you could just kind of not press Y at all, but eh. Who wants to have your bar orange and flashing? It's annoying. So this is the mechanical part of the ninja temple. They're making red or something. On a gear, perhaps. Just those. Or just bouncy white stuff. Always useful. This is the part where they just have the hammer head, but not the hammer. And regardless if they go up or down, it doesn't matter too much. Gravity is not an issue for Ninja. I guess you might have, might have noticed by now, I'm starting to use my Shippo Shield as an actual shield and uh, covering myself. Always be protected, kid. No matter what you're doing. I don't care. So yeah. This game gets kind of boring. Well, sure as, as a general, it gets kind of boring when you're fully powered up and the stage is mostly based on enemies and bullets. Of course there are the obstacle portions, but there are so many crap coming out of me that it slows down to quite a slow pace. I'm actually using my bullet hell as a, a slowdown device. Not my fault the game isn't prepared for it. It's a tool it's giving me, and damn it, I'm gonna use it. Ninjas crawling, well, penguins actually crawling out of the floor and popping back in. This area actually pretty much shows um, difficulty scaling. Because right now, in the bamboo fountain, there's gonna be like never ending stream of penguins. If you go there without any power, you're gonna get maybe one penguin per second. Uh, it really shows, though, so if anyone doubted about, for some reason, about the damage rolling, you are wrong. So, we're probably going to the cake for heating portion of the level. A popular stage for uh, Wendy. She devours the cake and cookies like no other. Yeah, she doesn't fall into those diet paths or whatever. 
She knows she is. She, yeah, she, she's a bit rotund, but you know. She's not ashamed of her body, and more power to her. I say a bit of flesh doesn't hurt anyone. But this is neither the time nor the place. Ah, uh, that poor penguin. He was just eating a giant cookie, and then we stole this cookie, and then for the sake of it, we downright killed it. This is the area where uh, Wendy downright starts to gorge. <laughs> Uh, so the fire firing no when when on Windy isn't that bad. I, you know, I was expecting her to be downright awful. Uh, the way that a past player of her her p people that were supposed to play her were talking about her. I was expecting something a lot more horrible. Let's just play it that way. Oi. Right. Here we're having miniature big cores armed with Spear and flag, ready for war. And this is the crystal boss from that from one of the radiuses. The 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 grady uh, the grady grady eye yeah the gradius is kind of all merged into a blur to me. They're like too similar. They're just planes fighting bigger planes. Sorry, you don't have that much identity. Uh, at least not as much personality. At least when you compare it to this game or other cute enough. And there's a whole bunch of bosses! Then I kind of dodge them and I run right in the stairs. I'm weaponless and powerless, or almost, and I'm so close to the boss. If I want powers, I'd go in the lower route, but I'm not sure how to solve those dices. dice. Uh, I know you shoot them a bunch in the croak, but there's a whole bunch down there. I don't know if I can uh, zap them fast enough. I remember in the past I once tried, and uh, my success rate wasn't exactly ideal. Oh, at least I got Rocket Punch to, uh, to, to fight the boss. It's the Waffle Machine that appears by magic, and it has spiky arms. And it has going on impact in it. Sure, that makes sense. And since I have no powers, his pattern is ludicrously easy. He barely shoots any fat guy bomb. And uh, he just kind of stay there. For a second there, I forgot I did not have any powers. And I actually need to actively aim for his eyes. And this is where he flails his arm. And he shoots out little white things. So it's not questioning their nature. And uh, rinse and repeat. What's a shame about the Parodius series as a whole is that the stages tend to be a very interesting and fun to play, but the bosses, ugh, kind of lame, kind of boring, kind of just kind of there, kind of, kind of repetitious. Not a whole lot of attacks, not a whole lot of AD, and not a whole lot of things to say for Mr. Commentator here. Shoot, wouldn't be shoot. Or punch. Do both. I'm sure you're able. Is this video ending soon? God damn it. About a minute left. I did not know that I was playing. So now he's gonna do it. He did it once. He did it twice. Now he's gonna aim for me three times. But then he gives up. Rather than staying hidden in his waffle machine, and thus being invincible. Ah, boss logic. Our games would be hard if you were not like you were. Which is to say, strange. In the arcade version, it might be known to know that uh, Goemon Impact does not turn into Goemon Impact female. Actually, it's a giant Ibu Ibizumaru head that pops out instead. And his attack pattern is completely different. But otherwise, I completely forgot what it was about, so don't ask me. <laughs> Play it for yourself, damn it. There's such a thing called MAME, it works. So there. That's it for now. See you next time.